Hello everyone, Amadorn here and welcome back to Amadorn's Constructs. I hope you're having a good day today. I'm doing pretty good. Those guys are outside of the wall. Um, as you can see, I have done a little bit more on the wall than I did in the last tutorial episode. Um, started this tower here. Um, we'll need to get those guys inside. And um, I kind of cleared this area out here a little bit, and I thought this would be a really cool area to maybe add in uh, so, uh, a camp. You know, a place where, you know, visitors can come in and um, set up some tents. And, uh, you know, as, you know, they're just getting into town for the first time, maybe. You know, maybe a place for the wandering trader to camp out. And so there's some tents here. We're going to get rid of this little spot here. Kind of level this out a little bit. So I thought this might be a good way for me to show you how I make tents. Now tents can be done in, in, in a lot of different ways. Um, they can be fairly simple or they can be you know, fairly complicated. However you want them. Well, I'm going to try to do some simple ones. So to do that, we're going to need some wood. Uh, wool, not wood. Well, we're going to need some wood too, but we're going to need some wool. So let's look at our thing here. So we're going to need um, fence posts. Uh, we're going to need some lanterns. And we need some wool. Uh, I think we want to use some blue wool. And we're going to use some yellow wool. Because uh, those are the colors of our uh, wandering trader. And, we're going to keep a hold of those. We'll need some beds. Again, we'll go blue and we'll go yellow. Um, and so I think that'll be a good start for our camp. Now, we want to make sure that... Uh, let's see, we need a shovel. Shovel? Okay, so we need a shovel through here. So the first thing I want to do is make a path. Okay, so we have this coming out here, okay? And this is kind of the main road that we're working on this that leads into town. All right, but there's also this little path that leads over here. And I'm going to go underneath here for this. Um, got rid of my shovel for a path. That's the downsides of working in creative sometimes. And it's raining! Alright, we're gonna shut off the rain. There we go. Alright, so we got a bit of a path that leads from the gate to this uh, set of stairs over here for the upper side. And um, we're going to want another path that kind of leads over to here. Um, so our road's going to go through here. So I think this will be a good place for us to put in our uh, campsite. So let's do a fence along here. Okay, so we'll just kind of fence this area out to here. Um, I think that will be good. And we can use some bushes and stuff to, you know, kind of clean this up. Make it a little bit, uh, you know, user friendly. We can put bushes on this side as well. Alright. And then in here is where we're going to start putting our tents. So let's clean this area out here. And we screwed that up again. So we want to get all, rid of all these grasses. Now we've got this little spot under here that we kind of want to take advantage of.
Okay, there we go. And then what we're going to do is for our tent, we're going to use this as the back. So we're going to go up three. All right, and then we're going to put a piece of wool on top. Go, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, then we'll come down here to this spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, and now we're getting the start of our basic tent here. Um, this thing here, we're going to widen out. And then we'll do the same thing down here. So we get kind of a back side to our tent. Okay. And it comes out. And then finally we have the bottom. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna put a la couple of lanterns in here because we need some light, and then we also want to put a fence post here in the front, and um, we're gonna want a bed in here. We're gonna use a yellow bed in here, and I think just for you know to make this thing kind of look cool. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, because this is supposed to be kind of the wandering traders camp, I think that if we do this, it'll make it look kind of cool. There we go. And that is a basic tent. That's really all there is to it. Uh, now you can dress this thing up if you want to. I think, uh, having some coarse dirt and uh, some regular dirt and some path blocks will really kind of make this thing pop a little bit um, so we can we can go ahead and put coarse dirt down in here Maybe throw in a little bit of regular dirt. I don't know if that'll change back to grass. We'll put the bed back here in a second. All right, so we got coarse dirt, er, dirt er, pretty much everywhere in here. Now we pick up a couple of these and change them over to regular dirt and the rain's back and then we can bring our bed back in here we're gonna go ahead and let the rain go but we're in a tent we're in a nice little tent so we're safe uh, we can put some barrels in here um, see if we put a couple of barrels along the sides then we can give our uh, guy some storage can we sleep in here hey we slept and the rain has gone away so there is a basic tent um, if you want to you can even like do this so it looks like the tent posts are coming up and you can also um, sometimes I like to do this so it looks like there's something like holding the tent down I think we have a villager over here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Finish making most of this path blocks and kind of filling out some coarse dirt in here. We will go ahead and put another, um, we'll do some more fencing over here to kind of mark this out where he is at. There 
There we go. I'm going to go ahead and connect it to there. Um, which also means I'm going to do this and block it off there. So we've basically got a little campsite here for the Wandering Trader when he comes in. Um, I think it would also be nice to have a place for a campfire. Let's get some logs. Got some spruce log here. Um, we will do this. And I think that will work. Um, and then we need some campfires. There we go. Be a nice big campfire here for our wandering trader. All right, so now that we got a campfire here, um, we can take some iron bars. Okay, and um, if we take some nether quartz, so we can do this. Okay, and I think we want another campfire in the middle here. Get rid of this. And then um, we can put some nether quartz in here, and it looks like there is some meat cooking. There, yeah. It might be a bit much on the fire, but it's working. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and make the rest of this pass through here okay so now we we have changed this all over to path which kind of you know it, it looks like it's gonna be used it looks like you know it should but what we do now is we take and we change over um, some of this to coarse dirt you know especially like under those and we do you know, like some coarse dirt there and there, you know, and, and bring it out a little bit here. And just in a few places along here. And it kind of breaks up the path block in this, you know, and so it doesn't look it also, you know, the, the the path block has this dark edge around it when it connects with um, a block that isn't a path block. So doing this kind of kind of breaks it up. It, it makes it look like um, that it's you know that it's been used quite well. And and you can add in you can even do this in regular roads and stuff so that. Uh, you know, it, it, it gives it a darker feel. So uh, there we go. And that is that. Now we can put some more bushes and stuff around here. Um, this might not be a bad place to put in um, a little bit of storage area space in here. Um, we can kind of block some of this off with bushes so that uh, it doesn't look, you know, oh, you know, so we can do that but uh, and then maybe if we put the bed off to one side um, where's that bed again you know if we put the bed off to one side you know maybe we can uh, put maybe he's got um, you know if we use some carpet um, can we get some carpet in here? Okay, so a piece of carpet and string. So one cool thing you can do with string, okay, 
is you can do things like this. If we just... Um, we want to be able to walk underneath this. Can we do that? Okay. It can be kind of tough to see at times. Um, but if we put... Well, let's go up one with the string. Okay, and then we come around here like this. Now you can barely see the string, but it is there. Okay. And while you can't really walk on it, um, you can put carpet on top of it like this. Well, that's actually not looking very well. But you can put carpet on top of string like this, you know, and make something out of it. But uh, we can put some chests under here. You know, and we could put some barrels back here. And, um, you know, the Wandering Trader's got a couple of llamas, so having a place to have them pinned up might would, would be kind of cool too. So, um, why don't we go ahead and extend this out a little bit. See this right here. Now I am going to use some cobble. And I'm going to change these over to cobble. Because we want a bit of a wall here. There we go. And then a gate. Use an oak gate. Put that right. Uh, maybe it's a spruce. So we doing doing spruce gates or spruce fences. So we got uh, spruce gates, um, and then over here, um, let's see, potion stuff. We can do cauldron, and I think I want some hay blocks. See if we can find some hay. There we go. So we got some hay bales here for our uh, trusty mounts. We do some water there for them. Um, fill up the cauldrons. There we go. And so now the wandering trader can put his llamas in here when he visits. Um, we can, uh, again, we can switch over a few of these to coarse dirt. There we go. And there is that. Um, you know, a tree wouldn't be a bad thing here. Uh, let's get one of these changed over. Um, oak. 
What an oak sapling. And I believe that if we take and do um, I think there's a way to ensure that you get a tall tree, but I've never been very good at making that happen. Let's get some bone meal here. We will bone meal up this tree. There we go. It's actually a pretty nice one. Um, and another one right here actually might not be a bad idea. Uh, so let's do that. Cool. Alright, so we got a couple of trees here. Um, I think that we can uh, put in a lamp post. I think that would be nice to have here. So let's get in here and grab a lantern. Um, and then we'll put in some more bushes along the fence. Uh, we do need to set this to day because we have zombies chasing our villagers. Oh, he's going to become a zombie villager. Oh, well. Oh, they killed him. Alright, so I think, um, probably wouldn't hurt to have, um, a lantern over here. There we go. Maybe one over here as well. So we can kind of light up the area. Now, some of this may be in the way of this path here. We'll have to fix that. Um, you, you really shouldn't be on the tent. Okay, so that's a problem. <laughs> um, well, we will fix that here in a minute. I do like the use of these bushes around here. I think they go pretty well. All right, and there's our little campsite. Um, did he get off of there? Yes, he did. Good. All right, so we are going to take and put a bush there that should help us prevent him from getting up there. Um, and then uh, we do have the issue of here. So I think we're going to go ahead and put some trees along there as well to help prevent that. There. And so now this little villager, of course he's a fisherman, oh and he can still get up through there. That's not... <sighs> Off you go. Off, 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 air. Alright, so that should prevent him from getting up there. Um, it didn't. Because he got up through this chest. Okay, so we get rid of that chest. I don't know why he keeps going up here. There's nothing up here, buddy. Off. There. Alright, let's see if he can do it again. Can he get up there? We don't want him to. Okay.
Kind of a big little bush here. Almost a tree. But that seems to work. Alright. So we, we got a guy who's a fisherman in here. That's because of the barrels. I mean, it just is. Um, if we got rid of the barrels and put something else in there, um, that would probably solve that issue. Yep. Yeah, so we get rid of the barrels and he switches professions and he gets up to there. Um, let's get rid of that. And, um... Let's, um... Let's fix this. And we'll... We need to do something along there. Um... Let's take care of that. Basically, we're just kind of villager-proofing villager, villager -proofing the camp now. So this is our little camp. There we go. All right. So I suppose now he's going to become a leather worker. That's actually a little bit more useful than the barrels, than, than the uh, barrel guy. Um, now that he's done that, maybe we can put some barrels back in. So you, that is one thing to keep in mind. You can kind of control um, what professions your villagers have by uh, switching them out like this. Um, if I had some emeralds, I could trade with him. Uh, let's do that. Uh, emeralds. Let's grab this, a few emeralds here just so we can kind of lock this guy's trades in. Um, not for any other reason. So that is about all the time I have for this episode. Now, before I take off, um, I would like to ask you, um, what would you like to see me build? Okay, so I've built a little wandering tr uh, trader camp here. I built a, a little tent. Um, what would you like to see me build next? Uh, I am going to continue on the wall around the town, and we're going to do that... Uh, to do those towers and gates. Um, I think in the next episode we will build a little bit of a tavern, maybe? Either a tavern or an inn or a combination of both. I, I think the town needs one of those, so uh, we'll be working on that in our next episode. But if you have any ideas of things you'd like me to show you how to build, um, leave a comment down below, and uh, I'll see if I can uh, build it for you. So I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, you guys have a good one. Goodbye.